Oh, Olivia Rodrigo is back. She has returned with her sophomore album, Guts, and excited isn't even the word. It doesn't even begin to capture how I feel. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you again. Long time no see. Not really, though. If you haven't heard, Olivia Rodrigo has got a brand new album. It's called Guts. Follows up sour. That's basically the news. It's basically what we're here for. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I have spoken the world of this young woman. I've just got nothing but the most complimentary things to say about her. And I've continued to say those things. And I will continue to say those things because she continues to prove it and push her foot up everyone's ass with great ass music. That's the thing, guys. I'm a let the art speak for itself kind of guy. And Olivia lets the art speak for itself. She makes great music. The music speaks for itself sour was massively successful and she followed it up with a couple singles in vampire and bad idea right right like two songs that live in completely different worlds sonically and yet are complete smashes both of them bad idea right has grown on me like a fucking wart in the best way it will not leave me i cannot stop listening to it i mean we're talking song of the year most likely but yeah guys you know what i'm here for i'm here for the album i'm here to listen to guts i'm here to have my guts ripped out i assume most likely i'm here to i assume hear olivia be pretty gutsy i assume that that guts is gonna portray itself in several different ways because that's what olivia does she's one for displaying her artistry in multiple facets. So yeah guys, as always, my full uncut reaction to this album with no cuts, the full whole album is on my Patreon. The link's in the description. Also subscribe, I'm so close to 100K, I can smell it. I'm like right there and all I need you to do is subscribe. That would mean the world to me if this video is the one that gets me to that 100K. Also subscribe because there's a deluxe version coming out. So of course we're gonna be checking out that deluxe version when it comes out. Also alert, I got a couple new channel. I'm in a show on a new channel called Take Away My Mic. I'm gonna put that in the description as well for you guys. On the most recent episode, I talked about my favorite sophomore albums in honor of Olivia sophomore album coming out and this monday on the next episode i will be talking about olivia rodrigo's album guts so make sure you tune in to the, that channel and that episode coming up make sure you subscribe over there as well would mean the world to me and then i've got another channel so many channels i know we've got another channel called brain on fire where it's more of like me just pouring out my feelings and emotions and mental health checks and that channel i will also link in the description so yeah if you guys go subscribe to those channels i'd mean the world to me it really would uh, a lot of great content coming up on both of those channels that i want you guys to be a part of thanks for sticking with me during this kind of longer intro it's album time i promise now let's do it it's guts it's guts it's guts i'm ready i'm so ready let's jump in all right y'all it's here in the flesh it's real it exists it just came out like i'm listening to this as it's just just come out at midnight local time so I am ready to jump in. I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little nervous, man. Sour really set the bar high to follow it up with whatever she follows it up with. The pressure's on, but I don't want to go in into this like that. I just want to enjoy these songs for what they are. So I'm going to have that mindset. All right, first track is <laughs> All American Bitch. Let's just get it out the way. I pay attention to things that most people ignore. It's that overthinker. And I'm all right with the movies that make jokes about senseless cruelty that's for sure She doesn't even have to say it. She doesn't even have to say it. That's how clever the songwriting in this is. She doesn't even have to say it. She sets it up. She throws the bait out there. And she doesn't even need to finish the rhyme because you know, finish it yourself. This is cool because you get two songs in one. You get the and then you get the fucking hard rock version of the song as well. Olivia with the scream? With the scream? I'm with the scream? I scream inside to deal with it. There's going to be a lot of that phrase being repeated around the country, around the globe. Screaming. She's just screaming. I'm grateful all the time. I'm sexy and I'm 
I'm sexy and I'm kind. I'm sexy and I'm kind. Oh, that's a transition. Oh, I like that transition. It's a bad idea. That's nice. Uh, I'm pretty and I'm kind. I'm sexy when I cry. That's a whole anthem. I feel like I've said this before about her and her songs. She just makes anthem after anthem after anthem, man. I mean, that's what that song is to the fullest. And there's so many repeatable lines in that thing. I don't, obviously the song just came out, so I don't have, I can't pull up the lyrics and then I'll repeat them line by line by line. But there's so many lyrics in there. This is why, this is why you guys got to tune in for when I do talk about this album on, on my other show. Um, because there's lines in here that are so repeatable and they're just going to be a hallmark of people that just make those lines their own personality for a bit, right? And that's going to help you get through whatever you got to get through in your own life in the moments. All right, let's go. We're not going to listen to Bad Idea, right? Vampire, I've got videos and they're very recently made on my channel. We're going to go to Lacey. I don't know what that could mean. I don't know if it's a person um, or not, but we'll find out. On this side of hell, dear angel Lacey, Eyes white as daisies. Did I ever tell you that I'm not doing well? I love I love her descriptive words because she she could just say eyes wide and then she can move on. But she and obviously it's part of the rhyme scheme to say daisies and rhymes with, with lacy. But like eyes wide as daisies. Think about that as opposed to just eyes wide. Like eyes wide as daisies. It's it's her descriptive word. Um lyricism that takes her a step of head takes her a step of head that has her like in this position in her career really to me it's her lyricism at this point that's gotten her so far and she continues that on here in Lacey What? Is this what I think it is? Is this about what I think it is? I feel your compliments like bullets on skin. I love that right there. I love that. I love that right there. The way she comes in right there. I try it's you're not a person you're made of angel dust i try to rationalize and when you're at the point where you're trying to rationalize this is something irrational so this is something you did not foresee this is something that's happening to you that's completely just you know blown you out of the water so this is a realization she's making and i feel like we're having like a bit of a sexual awakening realization going on this is whether it's a coming out fully or not, obviously someone made her feel a type of way, someone named Lacey. And that is like the, the you know, the sort of jarring thing where she's like, I didn't expect this. And, I, and like that's that's what she's descripting in her lyrics in this song. And I, I really appreciate that about this. I see, oh Lacey, it's like you're out to get me. You poison every little thing that I do. Yeah, I despise my rotten mind and how mm. much it worships you. I despise my rotten mind and how much it worships you. Come on, Olivia, come through with the fucking pen. Come through letting us know how you feel. I know how you feel. You're not leaving anything all off the table as far as how you feel. I despise my rotten mind. She's, you know what she's saying too? She's got thoughts. This person, this lacy character is making her think things and they're rotten things. They're rotten things and they're things that get her jealous. And that, that's been a little Olivia Rodrigo, uh, you know, think of jealousy, jealousy, right? Now we're connecting, now we're connecting albums and songs. Uh, this is, I appreciate this song, man. She really came out no pun intended with the song uh lyrically and just let you know like there's somebody on my mind and it's driving me crazy it's driving me fucking bonkers and that's what the song's about i appreciate that all right ballad of a homeschooled girl was olivia homeschooled i i guess she would have been right because she's been an actor from such an early age um okay interesting track five i don't think i knew that
she's fucking mastered this sound i just gotta say this it's no longer like a oh holy shit she's doing this now it's like yeah it's olivia rodrigo that's what this is oh This goes so hard. This goes so hard. I don't really know what she's saying, but it goes really hard. I enjoy the the guitars are so heavy in this, and she's the way her voice is filtered matches it so well. I'm just picturing all the TikToks. Wanna crawl up and die? It's social. So just that part right there. Sergio had to start a conversation on the website. I talked to the top guy, swore it was his type. Guess that he was making out with boys at the party. Everything I do is trash. Oh, every guy I like is gay. Oh, oh. Everything I do is trash. Every guy I like is gay. Oh, talked to the top guy, swore it was his type. Guess that he was making out with boys at the party. Everything I do is trash. Oh, every guy I like is gay. Oh my god, everything I do is tragic, every guy I like is gay. The morning after I panic, what did I say? What'd she say? What did I say? Everything I do is tragic, every, every guy, guy I like is gay. gay. The morning after I panic, oh god, what did I say? The morning after I panic, oh god, what did I say? Like the night before, what did I say? Like the, I just spent the night, first of all, I just spent the night with, the, with this guy who's gay. So, shout out to me, yay. I did it again. Apparently, this is a habit. Apparently. Maybe that's why Lacey was something that, someone that caught her eye because of this situation she keeps getting herself into. And then the next morning, she's like, what the fuck did I say the night before? Oh, shit, Olivia. Are you, you, you want to talk? You want to have a chat? <laughs> Just, you know, a little therapy session, one-on-one? -on -one. secrets I shouldn't tell. Stumbled over all my words. Made it weird and made it worse each day that I'm alive. I mean, she taught an all-American bitch she was talking about somebody that not just overthinks but like analyzes every situation situations that your average person isn't doing and i feel like that's coming out to bleed here in this song too it's like the same thing i tripped over glass and said things stumbled out stumbled through all my words made it weird made it worse and that happens when you're somebody that is has an overactive mind it's constantly running on the race you can't help but just say shit and like have word spaghetti Each day that I'm alive. social suicide And is this because she's a homeschool girl we'll go back a little bit is it because she's homeschooled she didn't get that opportunity to like relate to other people to be like a regular you know part of social society to be a regular girl a regular teenager oh that's such clever songwriting can't think of a third la 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 that's so smart that's such smart songwriting man these songs are a ride so far they are a journey. Uh, all right, making the bed, track six. This is also the, there was like the preview that she had where she was making, literally making her bed in a video. Um, so I don't know what that video was supposed to mean or if it was supposed to mean anything at all. It probably was just teasing the fact that there's a song called Making the Bed actually. So let's listen to track six halfway through. One, so I got it. Did it so it's done Another thing I ruined I used to do for fun Another piece of plastic I could just throw away Another conversation With nothing good to say I thought it so I said it Took it cause I can another I thought it so I said it And there's another pattern I thought it so I said it So I said it Took it cause I can and, and What'd she say about a piece of plastic? Actually I'm gonna take this whole thing back Cause she's saying a lot There's a lot of lyrically here I wish I had the lyrics I wish I had the lyrics this is not a, it's a, the, the album just came out. I don't, I can't access them. Um, another piece of plastic. Does she just, does she, does she feel disposable in that way? One, so I got it. 
wanted to talk about it. Did it so it's done. Another thing I ruined. It used to do for fun. Oh. Another piece of plastic. Oh. Could just throw away. Another conversation with nothing good to say. I oh. thought it so I said it. Took it cause I can't. Another day pretending. Older than I am. Oh. Another perfect moment. Oh. Doesn't feel like mine. Another thing I forced to be a sign. Oh, another thing I forced to be a sign. So she's getting she's getting herself in situations she has no business in, and that's part of her saying that she's uh, acting older than she actually is. She's putting herself in situations with people probably that are old, like a lot older than her, that she probably has no business being a part of, and she's probably like making up signs and justifying her being in a situation because of the signs she's making up. Um, and ultimately, it makes her feel like plastic that can get thrown away, like somebody that's like just conversations that are going nowhere. It's just not a place she wants any part of at this point. She's realizing that after the fact. She's really grown up, man. That's what I'm really getting from this project so far. Is she's so grown up. Like, Sour is so clearly so angsty, so angsty. And this is angsty, too. Like, we literally just listened to Battle of a Homeschool Girl, Battle of a Homeschool Girl which talks about <laughs> social suicide. So there's a tons of angst in there, but like Sour is so angsty and, and is also clearly somebody that's like coming into their own as like an adult. This is already, this is an adult now, but who also realizes they still have a lot more growing to do. And that's so clear in the lyrics so far. Oh, my fair weather friends, fake ass friends, man. They're fair weather. They ain't going, they're, they're, they're there today. They ain't going to be there tomorrow, but I push away the actual people that are really going to be there. Livy, get yourself out these clubs. Get yourself out these clubs. She probably did. Good for you. But it's me who's been making the bed. I'm so tired of being a girl that I... Oh, it's like make your bed and lie in it. That's what she's doing. She's like, I'm the one that fucking made this bed, and that's what, and I'm lying in it. I'm the one that caused the situation. Like, I'm making these choices. It's all on me. I love this. Is, this, is this is the song right here, baby. This is the song right here. Pulling sheets over my head, making the bed. Uh, this is my favorite song so far, one. I'm pretty sure Ballad of a Homeschool Girl is going to be a single just because there's so many one-liners in there that are sing like they're just going to ring across pop culture. And I understand that, and it probably should be a single. Making the Bed should also be a single. This is an incredibly important song, right? Like There's self-realization up the wazoo in this song that can really... I feel like help out a lot of people, like young people listening to this song. Also, it's just a great song. I love this melody. I love her vocals on this. Make this a single, Olivia. Please do it. I know you watch my videos. I have confirmation that she watches my videos. Make it a single. Come on, bud. Attraction. They tell me that they love me like I'm some tourist attraction. They're changing my machine. Wow, 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 wow. I love that like a tourist attraction because you're in and you're out you're not there for you're there for a short time not a long time a good time not a long time right I love this chorus I have goosebumps. Fucking goosebumps. Best track. Best track. Not only is it the best track on the album, it's the most driver's license like song that I've heard from her since driver's license obviously it's the most similar to that and driver's license to me it's it's so like iconic at this point that saying it's great is like duh but to me that song is almost underappreciated now because of how big it got i think that's the, the song is just like so good it's a fucking anomaly i think making the bed is going to be the song there's i still have six songs to listen to but i feel like that's going to be the song where like 
two years from now we're still talking about like how great that song was that's just me personally i love it that much all right i'm gonna move on somehow some way to logical one of my favorite words in the world because i'm a very logical person all right track seven logical i'm getting nervous because sour already has instant classic like title and this already is giving me instant classic feel i feel like the first six tracks already i feel like are coming as strong as sour did on the first six tracks and i really try to like temper my expectations because i don't want to i don't want her to feel like she's like competing with herself because sour was just again so enormous but she's coming with it man like i'm getting instant classic vibes already these first six tracks there's no holes in the album there really isn't so far it's incredible all right, logical track seven. Let's do it. A piano ballad, yes. I stir manipulator. God, you're so good at what you do. Ooh. Come for me like a savior. And I'd put myself through hell for you. Hear all the rumors lately that you always deny. You can't open a song with Master Manipulator. Then you know we're fucking in for it. I fell for you like water Falls from the February sky But now the current's stronger no, I couldn't Ooh. get out if I tried But you convinced me, baby It was all in my mind I love that fell for you like water February sky Now the current's stronger I love the way she connected the water references So smart They got me thinking Two plus two equals five And I Changing you is possible. Two plus two is five, but changing you is possible. You fucked. Argument you held over my head brought up the girls you could have instead. Said I was too young, I was too soft. Can't take a joke, can't get you off. No! Oh, shit. That is adult content. Whoa. Whoa. We were already talking about some serious shit with with what she was saying before that but now we've entered a different door to a whole different world wow okay olivia and you held over my head brought up the girls you could have instead that is such that is such a red foot for like anybody watching this now like that is such a red fucking flag bringing somebody that you're with your partner whoever the fuck it's somebody that you're with bringing up the people that they could have instead that is like red flag 101 get the fuck out like get out while you can she hasn't she's not gonna miss she hasn't missed yet Oh, she saw a cannibal in this project. Making the bed is an entire song about accountability. And now here, despite the fucking vicious shit that she's gone through via this person that she just named, she still takes half accountability. She still comes and says, well, logically speaking, I am half, I am half accountable. So I'm going to just come out and say that and accept that. And that's part of the growth process too, man. Wait, once you take that accountability, it's the only way you can grow. You know, it's it's uh, it's not off the... Uh, I'm, I'm well aware... You know, I run my own YouTube. I'm well aware that uh, a lot of people watch my Olivia Rodrigo videos. Um, but that's not going to change how real I keep it. It never will. It's not. Gonna, it just doesn't matter. It's not something I actively think about while I make these videos. I'm thinking about it right now for the first time. And that's because this album's perfect so far. And I feel like it's almost like... <laughs> It's like, well, duh, of course he's going to say that because so many people watch his Olivia Rodrigo videos. Uh, well, if you that's how you feel, what the fuck ever. Um, th this is a perfect album so far. There's no holes in this project, uh, including Bad Idea, Right, Vampire, right? We didn't listen to it on this listen, but I've heard those songs well enough times, especially Bad Idea, right? My goodness, I don't think she's even topped that as much as I love making the bed. Uh, 
the the variety and sound is astonishing so far. I feel like I've already been I'm seven tracks in and I already feel like I've listened to a full length album and there's still five tracks left. I feel like I've I feel like the variety on this album has already surpassed sour seven tracks in. And that's saying a lot. We just got the piano ballad. All American Bitch is two different songs. Bad Idea Right is its own fucking early 2000s, like, pop punk just jam, man. Um, Vampire is, like, un- is like, unlike anything that I've heard personally. Lacey is an incredibly personal coming out song. Ballad of a Whole School Girl's got a ton of one-liners that I feel like are going to ring really just loud for a long time uh making the bed is my favorite song i've heard so far in this listen and then logical is just an incredible piano ballad and i just went song by song and gave you an entirely different uh review of each of each song none of them are like the other none of them are like the other uh and i know i said ballad of a homeschool girl has all american bitch when it gets to the rock version but it's still a completely different song so i just say all this to say that I'm keeping it real when I say this is pretty perfect so far. There's still five tracks left. It could go downhill. Who knows? But I'm just so impressed. I don't know how she did it. Sophomore project. She did it again. She did it again. That's the title of the video. I guess she did it again. All right. Get him back. (laughs) Get him back. You better get this lot. Yeah. The dude from Logical. Please get him back. It's like bad idea, right? But it's in a different universe. It's operating in a different universe. It's like two shows that are similar, but both are fantastic. It's like Breaking Bad and, I don't know, The Wire. It's like just, (laughs) I'm talking to the wrong crowd. It's like Euphoria and Stranger Things. That's what it's like. It's like two tremendous shows that like, those shows don't really live in the same world. You get what I'm saying? Like there's similarities, but they're different. This is... This is a dance. You could fucking. This is like the most dancey song too. I love that. This song is most for the club. <laughs> it's funny because it's it's like get him back i want to get him back like i want to get back at him but i also want to get him back because she's playing off of both versions of that lyrically she's again just an incredible lyricist this is why she's gotten this far uh that song is so refreshing i don't know what it was about that it was so fun and refreshing to listen to and it's another totally different experience than the other seven tracks these are eight songs eight completely different worlds i'm living in eight completely different experiences you kind of like when you're listening to albums from start to finish that's all you could ever really ask for she's done that thing all right love is embarrassing yeah it definitely can be uh it's also logical as she just said a couple tracks ago let's see where she diverts to in this song try full she's willing to get with her voice i just it's i'm gonna admire it i admire it man it's really letting your guard down and being able to go places a lot of other artists aren't willing to go because of image quick song shortest song on the album it's gotta be right yes it is you you feel the shortness of it it feels like a little quick interlude even though it's definitely a full song wouldn't be surprised if that's a single as well um yeah quick and sweet all right the grudge track 10 trust that you betrayed confusion that still lingers took everything i loved and crushed it in between your fingers and i doubt you ever think about the damage that you did but i hold on to every detail like my life depends on it my undying love now i hold it like a grudge and i hear your voice every Ooh. time that i think i'm not enough and oh. i try to be oh oh my dying love I, holding holding your undying love like a grudge is that what she said 
And then, oh, whoa, this whole series of lines right here. Come on. You ever think about the damage that you did, but I hold on to every detail like my life depends on it. We know this. My undying love, now I hold it like a grudge. My undying love, now I hold it like a grudge. That is such an unhealthy place to be. And then the following line. Now I hear your voice every time that I think I'm not enough. Now I hear your voice every time I think I'm not enough. That's emotional trauma that you've put onto this person. As a result of what you've been through, oh, come on, man. Come on, Olivia. You are writing on this song. Oh, do we have my favorite song lyrically? I don't know. Making the Bed was special. Uh, uh, uh. I try to be tough, but I want to scream. How could anybody do the things you did so easily? And I say I don't care. I say that I'm fine, but you know I can't let it go. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried for so long. Oh, it takes strength to forgive, but I don't feel strong. And the way she sings it is so lightly, like she's given up all hope and strength. Like it's all left her body. Like she's got nothing left within her. Any strength that she would have had is just gone, gone. The way she sings it is so perfect. It matches the lyrics so well. Oh, I love that, man. In the shower, in the car, and in the mirror before bed. Yeah, I'm so tough and I'm alone. Now make you feel so guilty And I fantasize about a time You're a little fucking sorry And I try to understand Why you would do this all to me You must be insecure You must be so unhappy Not knowing my heart Hurt people, hurt people And we both drew blood But man, those cuts were never equal And I try to be tough She's taking accountability again. We both drew blood. She made her cuts too, and she comes out and says it. There's more accountability being had. She's doing it throughout the whole project. But but while you take your accountability, that that, that doesn't take away from how much damage you did to me, which was more. It's not equal. We're not on equal ground with the damage that we did to each other. I'm going to make that clear here. It's strength to forgive, but I don't feel strong. Oh, I love the way she sings that fucking line, man. Sing! The bridge queen is back. The bridge queen is back. The bridge queen is back. Give it to me again. The bridge queen is back. Pens? Pens? Take strength to forgive, but I'm not quite sure I'm there yet. Take strength to forgive, but is that the best song on the is that the best song on the album? How does this keep getting better? What is, what did she, wow. This project is better than Sour. It, it, it is, it's better, it's better than Sour. It's better than Sour. I threw, I just threw a lot of fucking pens. This project's better than Sour. It, it, it's, she topped Sour. Whether that was the goal or not, whether it was the goal or not, I, it doesn't even, it just, it's, and that's an incredible project, but this is better. I can't believe it. All right, um, pretty isn't pretty. Track eleven. Let's keep going, guys. That sounds a lot like something, but I'm not familiar enough to be able to just say it. Started to skip lunch. Stopped eating cake on birthdays. Bought a new prescription to try and stay We've set the the beauty standard is just it's it's 
I, it's not even for me to talk about as a man, to be honest. But, you know, what I will say is that what she's saying is completely accurate. When pretty isn't pretty enough, what what am I supposed to... Like, now I'm skipping cakes on birthdays. Like, what do you want me to fucking do at this point? The standard's just out of control. Uh, and, and it does damage. It does real-life damage to human beings, man. So... I, I don't I don't even know what the answer to that is, but I'm glad that we have songs like this to shed light on it. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Say what? Yeah, so it's in the poster mag it's in the poster, it's in the magazine, it's in my head, it's on my wall, it's in the boys I bring to bed. Like the way the, the that's the insecurity. The insecurity like uh like I'm I'm doing these things to make myself feel prettier because I don't feel pretty because society tells me I'm not pretty enough. You know what I really appreciate about this song? You know, uh, the uh, from the obvious, right? There's the obvious that this song's going to be super impactful for a lot of women. But it's I don't think it's like singularly like one focused um like it has one singular focus like that. It certainly didn't on me. I certainly feel personally affected by it. Like there's a there's a beauty standard for men as well. Um and it's certainly not it certainly is not like in the same category it surely doesn't hold the same power that it does for women i recognize that uh but there but like there is like a you know like a standard that's like an unrealistic standard set uh for men that you see all if you're online in certain circles enough you see it um and uh, and i feel that man i feel that sometimes and listening to a song like this sometimes it's like sometimes i feel like i'm having a good day sometimes i feel like i'm looking all right but then other days it's like man you know, I feel pretty today, but pretty isn't pretty enough. Like, I'm still not on the level of what social media is telling me, like, I'm supposed to look like. Like, it says, like, this guy right here I'm supposed to look like, but I don't, you know, it's not, it's not quite the same. And I feel, I feel that on a different level. So, like, I appreciate a song like this, um, even though, like, I'm probably not the target or intended audience. It just shows the power of, like, making a song like this and how it can resonate over like more than probably who you intended it to resonate with so olivia thank you uh teenage dream track 12 last track on the album last track on the project sad about it i actually am genuinely sad about it i want like I, oh we have the bonus tracks we have bonus tracks coming it's all right it's all good all right let's listen to the last track it's all right because it's not officially over till whenever that comes out probably next week or something let's do it guys when am i gonna stop being wise beyond my years and just start being wise when am i gonna stop being a pretty young thing that guys hmm. when am i gonna stop being great for my age and just start being good um. oh it's stop being cool Quietly misunderstood. Wow, wow, being when will it stop being cool to be quietly misunderstood? She, songs called Teenage Dream. She's t I don't I don't even know how old she is now. Is she 20, 21 now at this point? Like Sour, she was 18, 19. Sour was two years ago. I don't know, but either way, she's talking about being young and being like boxed into being young, like always being viewed as being super young. Part of that is the effect of Sour too, right? Because Sour is a project that revolves around teenage years and like living that life. So now she's actually grown up, but she's still being boxed into those years. I'll blow out the candles, happy birthday to me. Sure. I'm sorry that I couldn't always be your teenage dream. Oh. Well, I spend all the rest of my years wishing I could go back. Yeah. Oh, I love the Disney like strings.
Close me out. Close me out. We just put a little baby in there just be, just for shits and giggles. I'm okay with that. Love little babies. Adorable. Uh, introspective. Perfect closer. Perfect closer because it lets us in on what she's feeling right in this moment in life. It's perfect. Um, also, it's the only song that probably isn't like... I, I, I was thinking it's not single worthy, but then it did the happier than ever thing, like the Billie Eilish thing where it completely went from like soft and subtle to this huge like big closing part to the song and got really big. Uh, but it's the perfect closer to the perfect album. I'm going to just say it one more time. I said it halfway through, and I feel like that as we got to the end. This album's perfect. It's not just perfect. It's the album of the year. Um, I sit here, and I, I raise 21st Century Blues is certainly up there. Um, but I think that this is the best project I've heard this entire calendar year, in the year 2023. This is the best project I've heard probably since Scissors SOS. Uh, and, but that was last year. Uh, this is just an incredible piece of work. I'm wildly impressed. You know, I've sat, sat here and said the nicest things about so many of these different tracks. I'm going to let those words speak for themselves. Every track just sounds so different. Every track's about a completely different thing. While at the same time, you can intertwine certain tracks and find parallels and connections. I feel like I'm in a different experience every single track, and that's all you can ask for. Actually, I'll give you guys my six favorite tracks. I always go half half of the album. We have 12 tracks. My six favorite tracks, including the songs that I already heard, Bad Idea Right, Lacey, Ballad of a Homeschool Girl, Making the Bed, Logical, and The Grudge. Those are my six favorite tracks on this album, but the album's perfect. You can go up and down, and there's not a hole in the project. And I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe following Sour and, and the debut project that broke the world, that she came back and did it again and topped it. I just can't believe it. Uh, so that being said, guys, I'm sure we all want to go listen to this album again. I'm going to go do that right now. I'm sure you're going to go do that right now. Thanks for hanging out with me. It means the world to me. I'll see you all for the deluxe tracks. Peace out.